but I love this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, a man obsessed, a man possessed. I don't know which one it is, really. My love of all things Fiat, particularly the Fiat 600, you know, sent me down a rabbit hole. <laughs> it looks a bit like this. So, anyone know what that is? Well, it's an engine. A Fiat 600 engine, but that's a Fiat 600 engine as well. And this is significantly different. Well, for starters, it's two cylinders. And it's got lots of holes in it. Well, it's a school engine. So if you were learning to drive in Italy in the 1960s, one of the chosen cars for, for learner drivers would have been a Fiat 600. And you have to do your theory. So what they'd do is they'd have one of these back at the depot, you know, the, the, the driving school, and you could learn about how it all works and so on. And yeah, be a Fiat 600 because you were driving a Fiat 600. So these were produced by Fiat. I'm convinced of that, although it's not gospel. I need to find out more about it. But, you know, all this lovely stuff, it's all pierced away. They cut away all the gearbox. Everything's chrome-plated. I mean, there's, it's a work of art. And I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And I managed to score one in Italy a few years ago. So it's not a recent purchase. I've had it a little while. But we'll have a look at it in detail. Got the starter motor here, and it's all pierced out. They chrome the armature. Then you see the little brushes in here, you know, the little, little brushes to work it. So that's all very sweet, isn't it? And then we've got our control rod here for our clutch pedal. Well, obviously that doesn't normally fit there. That's in the front of the car, which is up that way, in that direction. Um, but, you know, that just shows it so you can see it operating. So you can see in here how it would operate onto the clutch. Shows it, um, well, anyway, we can't see very well, but it would just show in there. Shows all the springs. Even the springs, if we're looking from above here, They've pierced that out so you can see the actual actual um, coil springs that, you know, clamping for the clamping pressure. So this isn't a diaphragm clutch, this is an older, a bit older than that. You can see the differential in here, again, all chrome plated. And then we take it out to the little drive shafts. They've cut the drive shafts down so we've got dear little drive shafts. And then all of the gearbox is pierced out. All the gears are chrome plated. So it's beautifully made. And then in here, we can see how the selector works. Now you pick up on the selector there. Drive there, drive gear for the speedometer. So that's where the speedo takeoff comes out and the cable to go up to the front of the car. So you've got all that lot. It's a beautifully made, I mean, real, you know, real work of art. So there's, there's the input shaft and it goes across over the top of the diff and then, and then out the front of the gearbox into the bell housing. Again, all the bell housing is pierced out so you can see the clutch. And then we come into here and into our engine. We've got the camshaft, cam followers. And again, this side of the engine pierced out, all painted blue. And then everything chrome plated, our little push rods plated. And then you see here our cam follower, all, all um, chrome plated and cut away so you can see what it would do, where it runs in. And then oil pressure switch. And then we've got an oil gallery here, cut away so you can see how the oil gallery goes. And then we come around to the front of the engine you can see the whole front of the engine's been removed, the first front two cylinders, and then cut through cylinder number three, and then they've actually cut through the piston. So you can see the gudgeon pin there, the dear little conrod, and then here's, here's showing our oil going through our crankshaft. They've cut the crankshaft off, chrome plated it, and then the camshaft cut off, and they've cut that to show that it's cut off at an angle, much like a technical drawing. Now we can see our push rod goes up to our valve train, and then we've got our valve spring, Valve guide, dear little valve. And then it's showing in here, it shows all the induction, how it goes through and gets into there. Um, and so on, you know, so it's, it's showing it all. Then we've got our exhaust is all pierced out as well. So we can see that, see what goes on with that. And then we cut the, you know, the rocker box is cut away. So you can see, see your rockers and, and the adjustment for them. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a real dear little thing. And then we come around this side, we can see we've got the oil filters cut away so you can see the actual strainer in it. Now this, not all Fiat 600 engines had the oil filter. Most of them run on the centrifuge, but this one did, this particular engine. So that's interesting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around a bit so we can see some more details. So we're now looking at the other side. Got a little spark plug in there. And there's our cylinder numbers. We've got number four there. We've got number three down in here. 
and they got half of number two. So I've never actually looked that hard. I didn't realise it had these these two back here. So we've actually got you know we've got the first three cylinders or, or yeah uh, yeah two three and four, but two's been sliced in half. So it's a yeah yes two and a quarter or two and a half rather. So yeah, so it's all cut away. This is normally open here anyway on them. But you can see this was all chrome plated. Unfortunately, it's faded. But in here, you can see the sort of water gallery going in and how it goes through. You can see our induction going in, how that would go in. And then the carburetor, there's our little little um, float. And that's even been chrome plated. So it shows how the float would work. You know, as the fuel comes in, it fills up and then it shuts off the valve in the top, needle valve when it's full. And then when it drops down, that allows fuel to come in. So. It's a lovely little thing, so, yeah, it's a great thing. Um, and here we shows how the staff motor operates, so that pulls the Bendix in, and it also makes the connection at the same time to then to then throw the starter motor and make it turn. So you know we've got that there. You see there it get engages as it throws in. So yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So what happens here is when you pull this, you've got the lever, haven't you, inside the car, and you pull this, and then it engages, pulls the Bendix in and then it engages the solenoid through there, through this spring, which then will turn the, you know, turn the actual motor. But anyway, it won't do that at the minute because um, I can't turn the engine over, <laughs> as it were. But yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Um, this must be our reverse gear idler, I think, from memory. So and it's even got the original Fiat engine mounts on it and the little carrier, but then they've made this little cradle for it to sit on. Which is great, isn't it? So next to it, I've got a complete Fiat 600, en Fiat 600 engine, and that's what I talk about, the centrifugal oil filter, which you'll see in our um, will it run, you know, will it start video on the Fiat 600 from a while ago, and a fuel pump and so on, distributor. Now we haven't got a distributor on that one. And why haven't we got a distributor on it? Because they've cut that whole front of the engine off, haven't they? So we don't have a distributor. We start sort of near where the carburetor is, doesn't it, on that engine? But that's, that's a complete one. So you can see here where the gearbox hasn't been pierced out, you know, where these ribs are. And that's where they've pierced them all out on the other one, isn't it? And you see how things aren't chrome plated. You know, it's not, it's not done like that. Um, you know, that's, oh, hell, do anyone recognize that? <laughs> that's not a Fiat bit, is it? That's the old lifting eye, the old um, Austin Rover, um, and Morris, the lifting eyes, isn't it? You get them on the on the top of your Morris minor engines and your and your mini engines from back in the day of mucking around with them. I've obviously got these. I've yeah, got a little stock of those for lifting things in and out. So yeah, there we are. So um, we've got our Fiat on it, haven't we? And there's our there's our old old switch that I was talking about. So that's the same thing as that. That's a it's a dear little thing, isn't it? So it goes through the quadrant like that, and then obviously you push it forwards or pull it to engage whichever gear you're looking for. So yeah, we got it, we got it out of reverse now. So you see the little Fiat bolts have all been chrome plated. So they, they've gone to town on this. So you've got number four there, and you've got number three here, 
And we've got number two around the front here, haven't we? Or half of number two. So they've even chrome plated the, um, the bore there, haven't they? And here's all our cooling jacket. So you can see the water where the water runs through the cylinder head and then it runs through the block here. See how it transfers down to the block there? So it's, it's a wonderful thing, wonderful, wonderful tool for teaching the theory and how these things work. So do you think there'll be uh, a fascination with electric motors in years to come and we'll all be, oh look, here's the cutaway, here's the windings of the electric motor. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not a Luddite. I'm all for progress, but I love this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, a man obsessed, a man possessed. I don't know which one it is, really. <laughs> anyway, better go and have a lie down. Good night. <laughs>